I'm Cam Wyland. You know all about the hook in your book's beginning, right? The hook is that tiny, important little bit of awe we plant in our first chapter in order to hook our readers' curiosity and pull them in so that they'll keep reading. The most important thing to understand about the hook is that it is fundamentally a question, whether implicit or explicit. We plant it in the first chapter, and it's that resultant curiosity that draws readers in and keeps them reading. Now, admittedly, the hook is a tricky business. It's hard coming up with a situation or implication fresh and interesting enough to grab readers. But it gets a little trickier, or less tricky, depending on how you look at it, because the hook can't do it all on its own. The hook doesn't live in isolation. It's not a one-and-done kind of thing. You can't just plan it in your first paragraph, call it good, and forget all about it. The hook isn't a singular entity. There isn't just one of them. There has to be many of them. Now, admittedly, this does make our job a little tougher since it means we have to continue thinking up hooks, questions, to keep piquing our readers' curiosity. But at the same time, it also simplifies matters because it means that that first hook doesn't have to be monumental enough to keep our readers' attentions through the whole book. Rather, that first hook just has to keep their attention long enough to get them to the next hook, which in turn has to keep their interest long enough for them to reach and be once again entranced by the next hook, and so on. Not just through the first chapter, but through the whole book. So, what I want you to do is take a look at the hook for your book's beginning. Have you followed it up with another hook that's just as great, and so on and so on. If so, you are on your way to an awesome page turner. If not, you know what to do.